everyone. Welcome to Stanley Chantel. Tonight we are covering blood types. Blood types. When a person's blood is analyzed under a microscope, distinct blood differences are visible. Landsteiner observed two distinct chemical molecules present on the surface of the red blood cells. He labeled one molecule A and the other molecule B. A blood type, also called a blood group, is defined as the classification of blood based on the presence or absence of inherited antigenic substances on the surface of red blood cells. A series of related blood types constitutes a blood group system, such as the RH or ABO system. The frequencies of the ABO and RH blood types vary from population to population. There are eight different common blood types, which are determined by the presence or absence of certain antigens, which are substances that can trigger an immune response if they are foreign to the human body. Since some antigens can trigger a patient's immune system to attack the transfused blood, safe blood transfusions depend on careful blood typing and cross-matching. There are four major blood groups determined by the presence or absence of two antigens, A and B, on the surface of red blood cells. In addition to A and B antigens, there is a third antigen called the Rh factor, which can be either present, positive, or absent, negative, in general. Rh negative blood is given to Rh negative patients, and Rh positive blood or Rh negative blood may be given to Rh positive patients. And Rh positive blood or Rh negative blood may be given to Rh positive patients. The universal red cell donor has type O negative blood type. The universal plasma donor has type AB positive blood type. Blood types are very important when a blood transfusion is necessary. In a blood transfusion, a patient must receive a blood type compatible with his or her own blood type. If the blood types are not compatible, red blood cells will clump together making clots that can block blood vessels and cause death. If two different blood types are mixed together, the blood cells may begin to clump together in the blood vessels, causing a potentially fatal situation. Therefore, it is important that blood types be matched before blood transfusions take place. In an emergency, type O blood can be given because it is most likely to be accepted by all blood types. However, there is still a risk involved. So if you have A positive blood type, you can donate to A positive or AB positive, and you can receive blood from A positive, A negative, O positive, or O negative. Just like with O positive blood type, you can donate blood to O positive, A positive, B positive, AB positive, and you can receive blood from O positive and O negative. Now if we skip down to AB positive, you can donate blood to AB positive, and you can receive blood from everyone. So that's why that one's called the universal uh, recipient. And then if you look down at O negative, you can donate blood to everyone and receive blood from O negative. So that one's the universal donor. It is easy and inexpensive to determine a person's ABO type from a few drops of blood. A serum containing anti-negative A antigens is mixed with some of the blood. Another serum with anti-negative B antigens is mixed with the remaining sample. Whether or not agglutination occurs in either sample indicates the ABO type. It is a simple process of elimination of the possibilities. Blood type is inherited, just like eye color. While blood types are 100% genetically inherited, the environment potentially can determine which blood types in a population will be passed on more frequently to the next generation. It does this through natural selection. When someone is told to be Rh positive, it is usually referred to D antigen, one of the components of the Rh complex, because it's the most common and the easiest to identify. However, it's not the only one. What is the rarest blood type? According to the American Red Cross, the rarest is AB negative present in 1% of Caucasians, in African Americans it is even rarer. B 
being negative and O negative are also very rare, each accounting for less than 5% of the world's population. Some people with rare blood types bank their own blood in advance of surgical procedures to ensure that blood is available to them. A blood type is considered rare if fewer than 1 in 1,000 people have them. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next Wednesday. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you.